for four days and 17 hours the whole of uganda had no internet access meaning no instagram facebook youtube or whichever application that required the internet access was literally off so this all began on the evening of wednesday 13th when we were disconnected and if you are on social media by then everything would go off and just like that everything would turn black and you then you would get a notification on instagram like food and refresh feed or Google will show no internet or maybe <clears throat> trying to reconnect to diagnostics and that was it for most people and although on the, on, I've put five days or actually four days and 17 hours from my calculation so those days were weird for me but were sort of normal because I did everything I could do if I had no social media like working out watching TV and <clears throat> studying so this all came to one end on Monday 18th at around 1 p.m. when we were back online and what kept people strong for for those days was that since online interactions were no more the only resort was SMS and calls but even Airtel which allowed Google searches without data charges wasn't an exception to this so from particularly from most YouTube videos that I've watched um, this kind, this kind of video about lessons they plant about social media, they are usually planned. But this one was literally unplanned for me. It just happened, and I learned so much from it. So I decided to make it into a video, and I hope you guys learned something from this um, lessons in particular. And I'm going to share them right now. And when I was thinking on writing all these things, I thought about whether social media was important or not, or how could I make it much a much better experience for me to use so sometimes becomes a distraction when we get obsessed with it for example when you get a, no a notification you will turn to your phone and end up for an hour even if you're doing something important or productive you'll leave it and you'll just stay on your phone even when you wake up and turn to your phone and begin watching youtube videos or maybe you you wanted to you wanted to go and check your email then go and take a shower but then you end up being distracted with so many things as you get notifications and after maybe watching one youtube video you will see another one and then tell yourself that i'll see it maybe for some few minutes which then turn into an hour and your morning ends up being wasted because after watching a, a video while you're scrolling you'll see another interesting video and you pick it out and then you begin watching it and you won't be able to stop yourself so i don't own a phone but on my chromebook i have a budget which is also on android phones and it shows you that there is a notification for a particular app and it is kind of distracting for and makes me and makes you click on, on that particular app to see what is what the notification is all about and then you'll end up just scrolling through your phone or uh, whichever app that you've opened and then you'll see something interesting and then you waste your time on it if it is a reply if maybe someone if you are maybe chatting with someone and maybe you go and you've left your phone there and maybe you're studying and someone replies then you will end up having a conversation with that person and you will stop whatever you are doing and for me I think the only thing that we can do about this is maybe put away your phone or turn off the mobile data so that whenever a notification comes it is stored until maybe you put your phone back online so there are so many distractions but I believe we must control our use for social media so that it does not control what we have to do and we have time for the important things that we have to do like studying or maybe work and maybe we also have time for social media because we have 24 hours during the day and we have 16 hours to do everything else and 8 hours to sleep and in order to use all the 16 hours productively you must keep away this how i could make my decluttering process easier i had already decluttered most of my clothes since i didn't own that much and it all came to one thing that i also had to declutter my social media too personally i hold on to very many emails most of them are newsletters and maybe some other important emails, but most of them are newsletters. Um, these are some things that I hold the most and 
for me it was relatively easier to declutter the clothes and things like that because I didn't care so much about them but when it came to these newsletters and and some other and some other important emails it, it was really hard because I looked at them and I was like what if I need it or maybe what if I delete it and I may still need it and I'm, I'm and I'm unable to find it elsewhere and maybe the only social media account that I give myself credit for is Facebook where I don't have many friends but mainly the people that I initially talked to um but with these emails it's really hard for me to actually put to put them away and I sometimes whenever I'm just bored I may just go and just begin reading them although I've held on to these things for so long that I want to create things um space for the important things in life I've I've decided to declutter my social media and remove all these emails and messages accounts that I don't need on Facebook or channels on YouTube that I no longer view it won't be easy but I have to try my luck and maybe one thing that will help me is the notion web clipper so I'm going to like put all this information in notion um so it will be easier to access maybe when I'm typing and maybe I need and I need some inspiration or maybe an idea I can just go to those emails and maybe try to figure out something and I'll try to maybe to and maybe if I get inspiration it will be really good but I'm going to try and put all of them in notion and I think that those are the two lessons but the main thing that I wanted to say is that don't give all your, your attention to social media but also the important things in life that matter like family or health you should take pleasure in experiences and activities like photography or going out with a friend for lunch or maybe enjoying time with your family because I believe those moments are really precious and I believe that is where true happiness comes from in experiences in experiences and not in possessions. Social media may not be a possession but we should control our use of social media. So thank you so much for watching. I would really appreciate it if you liked, commented or maybe subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.